Hi, I'm Shannon Rollins with Shannon Rollins Real Estate with five New Year's resolutions you may want to consider if you're a homeowner. Here we are in the new year and maybe it's time to consider five New Year's resolutions to get your arms around maintaining your home. So the first one is do an assessment of your home. Go room by room and look at the floor, the baseboard, the walls, the windows, the trim, the ceiling, the closets, the light fixtures. Make a list of anything you see that is wrong. And then you'll want to sort your list into three different categories. One is mechanical and structural, the second is cosmetic, and the third is a wish list. This past weekend, I was in my spare bathroom on the floor messing with a new rug I had, and I noticed the doors going into the bathroom were all scuffed up, probably from when they installed the hardwood floors in the bedrooms. And they messed up the doors and I didn't even notice it. So that I would put on my list under cosmetic. Now, if you have a leaky faucet, that needs to go under mechanical or structural. Or if you want to repaint the bathroom a different color or get rid of wallpaper, that would go under your wish list. So make your list, sort it out, and then that way when you have some free time, you can jump on your list and quickly say, oh, I can knock out these couple things. Or if you have some funds available, then you can go ahead and take care of those problem areas. The second one is to establish a repair fund. They say that you need to be saving on an annual basis, one to 4% of the value of the home. So you have the funds available to make repairs when needed. So if you have a $250,000 house, you need to be setting aside at least $2,500 a year for repairs. Now, as the house gets older, you probably want to err on the higher side of saving more money um, closer to the 4%. So you have the funds available when you need to replace the heating and air or the roof or windows or replace the rotten deck. But even if you have a new home, you still need to be setting aside those funds because you're going to want to be making upgrades. Maybe you want to add a privacy fence. Maybe you would love to have some landscape lighting or add some more foundation plants or add on a deck. So you still need to be having that emergency fund established and available in case you need it. The third thing you want to do is that you need to check your smoke alarms and your carbon monoxide detectors. I'm guilty of this. Middle of the night, the smoke alarm goes off. We cannot get it to stop, so we just take the batteries out. We need to go back and put that back together and get it replaced if needed. So double check that, be sure everything's still operating well. The fourth thing is, you need to be cleaning around your appliances, under them, behind them, on top of them. I've got a cute little black schnauzer who his fine hair gets everywhere. So I've got to go up and clean under my refrigerator around the vents occasionally to be sure it's not clogging it up so that they operate efficiently. I don't want my freezer to stop working when I'm not home and have a mess. You also need to look up into your returns, you know, where you got the heating and air returns. If they start looking a little black, you might need to screw off the vents, take it down, soap and water, clean and put them back up. That way it keeps your heating and air operating well. The last thing is it's winter time. Most leaves are down now. You can see limbs that are hanging over your house. Now is the time to be trimming them back, especially before we have any of those ice storms. An ice storm bringing down limbs can damage your property. Plus those limbs are a little highway for squirrels to get into your nice, warm, cozy attic. So take care of that now before we have any of those issues. I hope these tips have been helpful. If I can help you in the new year, feel free to reach out. My team and I are on standby seven days a week, ready to help you take the smoother road to sold.